Hey guys, Trace here, and you guys are just freaking awesome. DNews only launched like a year ago, and it has come a long way, but for the next year, we wanna blow this thing out. We wanna make it even bigger. So tell your friends about DNews. That way we can show more people how amazing science can be. So if you could just take a second and share this video with your social networks, it would mean a lot to us. Hey poopers, it's Trace for DNews, back again, and it is poop week. I know, I'm excited. Honestly, I had no idea poop was this interesting. We should do poop week every year. Today, we're here to explain what the heck is in your poop and why is it that uh, poop color? Firstly, normal healthy human waste can vary in both consistency and color because we're omnivores. Poop is commonly brown, but it can be green or red or black or yellow. It really depends, no pun intended. There are more bacterial cells in your digestive tract than there are human cells in your whole body because we need to break down a lot of different types of things. Your body is pretty good at getting rid of stuff it doesn't want anymore. It's almost exactly like a factory. A lot of the body's built-in waste, like dead cells, is coated in bile from your liver before it's dumped into your intestines. It's made specifically for this job. Hemoglobin, the stuff on red blood cells that grabs the oxygen, breaks down to bilirubin, an orange-brown stuff. Without that, your poop would be kind of grayish-white. The bilirubin mixes with other chemicals inside of your intestines, which are sort of yellowish, which is what gives it that brown, poopy color. As crap collects and is pushed through your intestines, it's acted upon by chemicals and eaten by lots of gut bacteria. Normally, human fecal matter, or fecal material, is three parts water to one part solid matter. Then, of the solid bit, that 30% of it is living and dead bacteria. Sometimes the larvae and eggs of parasites and the parasites themselves that live inside of you. I know, that is so cool. Also in solid bit are proteins, living bacteria, mucus, and things that your body can't digest, like cellulose, excess fiber, chlorophyll, and other crap. Plus everything your body is done with, old red blood cells, fats that you don't need, and waste from each individual little cell all over your body, they all make their way into your, your poop. Soluble fiber is digested into a gel in the intestines, sticking the poop together into stools. And then like a factory before shipment, the stools are bundled into groups by the large intestine and coated in mucus. Then it just waits for the poop tunnel to open so it can ship out. Woo woo, let's get this train moving. The color of your fecal matter says a lot about what you've been up to and what's going on inside of your body. The darker brown it is, the more likely you've been eating a lot of meat. It's also smellier. Vegetarians and breastfeeding babies have less stinky stool. Strictly vegetable eating mammals, however, might have green poop because of the chlorophyll. It can't digest it. If it's reddish, then there might be some bleeding in your gastrointestinal tract. The brighter the red is, the closer to the exit that bleeding is taking place. So next time you stand up from a number two, Turn around, take a gander, and admire what your gut bacteria have wrought. You could learn a lot. We at DNews, plus some brave contenders in the test tube offices, are gonna be logging our poop schedules all week. Yeah, this is really happening. We're also gonna do a live Facebook Q&A on Friday to break it all down, figuratively speaking. So if you haven't already, like DNews on Facebook so you can join our craptastic conversation.